It's a boy. Is it you? Did you burn the hut? You bastard. Mum, don't let us talk to strangers. All right then. Hey everyone, my name is Mike, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. Um, we're still looking for Yennefer. Our current quest is Lilac and Gooseberries, which is what Yennefer smells of. <laughs> and our quest is to ask travellers about Yennefer, see if they've seen her, you know, know where she's about. So all we can do is ask these people in, in the inn. Let's start with these guys. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. So options marked with the Axie symbol will make us make use of the Axie sign. This sign influences people's minds, causes them to act according to your will. So you can kind of like mind control them and make them do what you want. So let's make them talk, seeing as that option there has got the symbol next to it. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. <laughs> you think people would have more respect for witches because of how deadly they are? I mean, I wouldn't be calling him a freak to his face. I'd be like, hey man, I love I love your work. Alright, so those guys told us that she rode past. Um, let's ask this guy over here. Factions, teams, suits, similar to clubs and spades. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Hey, um, I'll have a drink. Not in the mood. Let's get to, let's get to the point. Finding her, that'll lift my spirits. You look haggard. It's just a few drops to improve your mood. A little schnapsies never hurt a soul. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Vengerberg. He knows her name. I didn't mention her name, did I? Never mentioned her name. Nope. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. New item received. The drink. So how do you know Yen? Who would want to know who this guy is? He seems to know a lot. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodim. At your service. Vagrant. That a profession now? Uh, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. Alright. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. This guy knows the stuff, doesn't he? He knows who I am, he knew who Yennefer was without me telling who what her name was, just what, by what she smelled of. So let's continue. What is, why is that yellow? Does that mean it's like an important thing to say? You've seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Um, <laughs> none of your business. None of your business? Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Alright then, so we got a new lead. We need to speak to the guard at the garrison. Who seen her. Done drinking. Oh, we got trouble. Mm -hmm. Then 
Fuck off. <laughs> Very nice. Don't want your kind here. Oh, she's not impressed. Turn three against one. My, you're brave. I won't stay long. I can control them. Can I control all three of them? Make them back off? Let's try that. Because I might control one. Then the others are going to be like, Hey, shit, he's controlling his mind. Let's fuck him up. Ah. I don't think any of those options are going to stop us from fighting, are they? Let's try this one. I haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Of course no. No, uh, you've done nothing. It's only one guy. Witchcraft. Get him. Yeah, I had a feeling that'd happen. Oh, fuck. Um, is it a fist fight then? Ow. Can I use my signs? You cannot do that now, okay. Alright, he's down. Let's get this guy in the corner and just beat the shit out of him. Right, this guy's sitting down like a baby. Okay, it seems like that mind control lasts quite a while. I think it was only because it was used in the cutscene. I think if I did it myself in combat, it wouldn't last anywhere near that long. Game saves. Your game state will be automatically saved when you reach certain milestones in the story. Still, you should save your progress. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So it's telling me I can save by doing that. Did I save? Yeah, okay. Um, ask the Nerf Guardians about Yennefer. So next question. It's 500 footsteps away. No, no suspo- That's a good song. Well done. Okay, notice boards. Geralt has learned from experience to keep a close eye on his surroundings as he travels, for he never knows when he'll run into someone or something of interest. A damsel in distress, a merchant peddling rare wares, or a nest of pesky monsters. Such locations are marked on your map with the following icons. Alright, so we got notice boards, quest givers, merchants, armourers, blacksmiths, herbalists, all the vendors, and the armour people, monster nests, all that good stuff. So, on the map right now, we've got this exclamation mark. It's got a notice board. Um, are these all quests? So the Imperial Garrison hereby announces that every week the villagers poor may come by collect come by to collect food rations. Rations will only be distributed to supplicants able to document proof of their provo It's not a quest, is it? It's just like news. Can I pick these all up, take them? I mean what's this one? This one's got a set of symbol next to it. Brother missing. I think that's a quest. Points of interest. There's much of interest to be found in the world's dense forest and fog clad swamps. Whenever you pursue a Pnosis board, question marks will appear on your minimap to indicate potential interesting places. So when you go to a notice board, they appear. Is that right? You say? Who told you that? Uh, so we got the world map. Let's skip all this stuff. It's just showing us stuff that we already know, really. So these are all the question marks. These are all like Little points of interest, undiscovered locations, they call them. Alright, cool. There's another quest over here. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, Dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Um, I'm sorry. He's, he's obviously pissed off. <laughs> sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang Dent out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. Hmm. So because he's supplying to the other army, everyone hates him. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, 
heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks. I found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's just do this quest here, because all we got to do is... Um, investigate around the barn and see if you can find who did it. The world is brimming with interesting places filled with danger or treasure. Such sites are marked in your minimap with the following icons. So it's more stuff for us to look out on the mini keep an eye out on the minimap. We've got one right in front of us, um let's see, so you can use it. Your items have been enhanced. Okay, so we've got like a 15 minute timer there, like a buff. For our weapons, so they I'm guessing they're sharper. Here we go. Enhancing weapons, use special grindstones to temporarily enhance your weapons. Doing so grants a bonus damage bonus to the damage dealt by your weapons. Alright, the quest is behind this hut. We've got to look around. There's a boy. Is it you? Did you burn the hut? You bastard. Mum, don't let us talk to strangers. Alright then. Can we pick these bushes? Yeah, you can pick these and you can use them in alchemy. Um, creating potions and stuff. So we can um, go into the witcher senses mode and we can look around. See if we can find something useful, like see where the fire started. Um, any? Can't really see. Oh, here we go. What's this red stuff? Shavings from a tinder box. Arsonist must have lit his torch here, tossed it on the roof, then fled the through the prince. orchard. A man's, large. All right. So he lit the fire there, and there's his footprints as he ran away. So let's follow these prints. Stinks of piss. And vodka. <laughs> Alright, so he was a drunk as well while well, he did it. What was it all about? He's just a. He must have got drunk and thought, you know what, fuck this guy, I'm gonna burn his hut down. Did he get in his boat? Where's this going? Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. What's this? Is he inside the chest? I don't know. Fishing rod, fishing net, orange. I think orange is the currency, isn't it, that they use. So, um... He went into the water. There's his footprints there, the orange ones. So we've got to go in the water and try and find where he went. Oh, okay, what's over there? Got more red. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Lost his boots in the rush. Okay, so it looks like some kind of monster jumped out the water and attacked him. He lost his boots and ran off up here. Right, so he ran. Oh, where'd the footprints go? Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. So did he? Um, did he run back into the village? The footprints aren't showing. They were there. Oh, there's blood on the floor. There you can see. Here we go. I had to let go and press it again, it worked. So there's blood on the floor, you can see. He's ran back into the village, hasn't he? So he ran around it, then ran back in. What's that? Oh, this is some mushrooms you can pick up. Oh, he ran into this house. Here we go. Trail ends here, but I'll recognise him by his wounds. I'll recognise him by his wounds. So this is his house, I've just walked in. Can we steal his stuff? Looks like we can. Doesn't tell us we can't. I think in this game, in these games as well, the Witcher games, it's just, especially on the harder difficulties, it's really important to loot as much as you can, because you can't regenerate health by meditating, and like you need to get as much food and water that you can find. So, oh my god, disgusting! Dried fruit, so that's all food we can eat during combat to regenerate health. Like broken rake, we can break that down to make weapons and stuff, or we can sell it for for more cash to buy more food and stuff. All right, is this the guy? It's gotta be him. All right then. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner. What the fuck do you care? <laughs> Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. I not talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything but gold. They will. They forge the blades the black ones put to our throat. Am I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. 
My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Alright, so I can have a get paid. I'll just turn him in. And the dwarf might give me a reward. I don't know. I don't think he will because he's got nothing, has he? Because his whole house got burned down. So I can kind of be like the good guy or just be like, take money any chance I can. And I think I may like role play the what people perceive witches to be, which is like arseholes. So I'm going to take the money. Fine, but no arson. So that means give me the money, but don't be burning any more shit down. Fine. I'll agree to that if you swear to stop playing with fire. Fail to do that and I'll come back. And someone will get hurt. Of course, Master Witcher. I swear on me dead mum. Your gold. And here's to your health. Down with the black ones and non-humans alike. Alright, so we got to be turned to the blacksmith now and tell him that we didn't find him. <laughs> so, he's a bit of a dickhead, this guy. I mean, he did burn a guy's house down. And he's not denying it, or his reasons weren't good at either, and he's just like... Because he, he just bribed me pretty much, that's what happened. So, let's return to the blacksmith and tell him that... <laughs> we couldn't find what we, what he was looking for. So, have your horse come to you, press... Yeah, I know. Couldn't track your arsonist down. Sorry about that. Damn shame. Well, the black ones might catch him eventually. Do you need anything? I managed to save some things from the fire. And my anvil's whole. I could bang something out. You know, can use every copper now. Okay, so this has unlocked him now as a blacksmith. I do like that that effect, that noise that they make every time we complete a quest. Uh, the... A return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? Um, we can buy stuff from him, or we can make him craft something. Like you to forge something for me. Right. I have looked into this. I'm going to skip the tutorial parts of it, and I'll talk through it as I look look around, guys, just so you know what's going on. Right. So the only thing this guy can actually craft for armor is this chest piece. These are all different um like ore that he can craft as long as we bring him the the requirements. Like, see that we need a diamond diamantium ore. We need the different ingot as well, and then he'll make the um, dimetium ingot. So it requires materials to make the ingots and stuff. And I think them ingots will be used in the future to make different types of armor, like better armor. And um, so what I'm going to I'm, I'm going to try and get this crafted. So what we need is we need some two pieces of wire, one cured leather, and two leather scraps. Now you can get these materials either by buying them from shops or Dismantling other armor that you've got in your inventory. So we can also repair. I'm gonna repair, why not? Um now if we go to dismantle, he can dismantle things. Like anything. You can if I had like spare armor in my bags right now, he could dismantle that and give me like ore and like leather and stuff like that. But um all this stuff really. So we can dismantle this, the the bear. The bear hide and it gives us cured leather, and that's one of the things we need to craft that chest piece. So that's going to be a good start. For them, um, and we can turn that into leather scraps. So we actually got we need two leather scraps, I think. So we can turn the actual fair scrap into leather scraps. And now, if we go back to actually the um, the crafting, you can see we only need now one leather scrap and two wire. So if we go to the shop, I think this guy may spell it. I'm going to just check again. It's two wire and one leather scrap, yeah. So this guy sells, he's got four leather scraps in his shop. Let's buy one. Let's buy two wire. And now we can go to the crafting and now we've got all the materials now to craft this. It will cost us 32 coins. I'm going to do it. It's gonna, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good upgrade for us right now. Because um, we're just wearing basic clothes at the moment. So um, let's drop out of this now. He's made the clothes for us. Oh crap, does this guy sell saddlebags? Hey, he does. They're expensive as hell though, 186. It increases the amount you can carry. At the moment you can only carry 60. Because when I was playing this game before, when I wasn't streaming, just streaming, recording, I, um, 
I was running out of inventory space, so I might buy this. It may be worth the, worth the investment. 186. Let's go for it. Only got 46 left now. That's all right. So long. So let's say bye to this guy. Let's go to the inventory. Liam, let's equip the saddlebags. It, this is just doing a tutorial of the inventory. I know. I know how it works. Um, a lot of stuff happening. Okay. Okay. I get it. I get it. Now where's the saddlebags? Oh, the saddlebags have been equipped. So now we got at the top right, next to the level, it says 8 out of 90. It was 60. So we've added 30 maximum weight. That's really good. And the chest armor's been equipped already. It must, whenever you get an upgrade, it must equip it. So we got a new chest piece. And now the old chest piece that we had, we can either sell it, or we can dismantle it. But for now, we'll leave it. Because, uh, you know, there's no, there's no rush. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video there. We've had a little sneak peek into what the side quests are like. That one was just a little quick, you know, to try and find the guy who burnt his house down. So um, there'll be more fighting involved in the future quests. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.